Before time began, they've been all around us. They came from the skies, and we have no answers. Today, we've asked alien specialist and scientist Andrew Baker to tell us the secrets of the beings from beyond. My name is Andrew Baker, and I have undeniable proof of aliens. We have pretty substantial evidence now more than ever. Um, I'd say in history that aliens have been here uh, for a long time. In this ongoing study of aliens, I think the most significant event is definitely the 2004 USS Nimitz event. Lieutenant David Fravor, he was sent out in 2004 uh, while serving on the USS Nimitz to go look at some unidentified flying objects on the radar. He was not debriefed on what they were, what they looked like, if they were dangerous at all. Um, but him and his co-pilot went out um, into the sea miles and miles away. And there he sees a tic-tac-shaped object, in his own words, uh, moving sporadically and in ways that are not uh, possible according to known aviation laws. In his account, he descended in a spiral motion and this thing on the, uh, on the ocean surface matched him. And they did kind of a spiral motion. And again, in his account, he says when he cut in, the thing matched him again and they went straight at each other. And according to the USS Nimitz, um, the radar uh, data and the other servicemen on the ship at that time, uh, this thing disappeared within fractions of a second and appeared miles away. Lieutenant Fravor, he was able to testify in front of Congress along with two other uh, claims military servicemen. And his account was testified to Congress in person and there's already legislation being written um, in order to enact upon what his testimony is. I think David Fravor's story is so reliable because he's someone that was assigned uh, for Ground Zero during 9-11 and he was there uh, to protect our country around that time. So we put our trust in his ability to make common sense decisions and to defend us from terrorists. And this is the same man claiming uh, to see these UAPs underwater um, and having advanced technology that we don't have access to. Uh, Lieutenant Fravor uh, gives his account consistently in clear detail and does not stray from the narrative whatsoever. The Joe Rogan podcast is, you know, the most popular podcast in the world. And on this podcast, he's had David Fravor, he's had people like George Knapp and Bob Lazar, uh, other UFO experts, people in this field uh, that have been in there for 34 plus years. And these people um, have testified uh, to him, to the public, to Congress. Uh, and I mean, even recently, there's new documents um, going around that are signed by the head of Congress that mention the words um, extraterrestrial intelligence and unidentified flying objects uh, that we don't know how they work. I'd say the most important thing is to be open-minded, be extremely curious, and above all, know your sources. So have you ever personally seen an alien? Actually, yes. Yes, I have. That's, I have footage of it. That's, um, that's why I'm here today. Do, can, I, can I show you? Yes, it's, please. It's just right here. Please. Oh my God. Well, thank you so much. That was great. Yeah, uh, yeah. This, this is insane. Yeah. Um, uh, you had a lot of great stuff to say today, and I think that's all we've got for you today. Well, thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. It was, uh, it was so nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, I will just let me know if you need anything else, any more information. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Hey, you have a good one out there. Yeah, thank you guys. See ya. Bye. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh hello. Sorry, who are you? Uh, I'm here for the interview. Uh, okay. Are you an alien? No, no. Um, did 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 Andrew tell you the night that he saw me on at all? No. It was Halloween night. You're, you're joking. <sighs> While we have you here, have you ever seen an alien? Uh, no, no. I don't do that. All right, let's cut the cameras, guys.